if you click on this GPU information section or button here, it's going to bring you to uh, basically your some extra options here. If you have an NVIDIA video card, which I don't seem to have, it works better with After Effects because the new compatibility in CS6 allows the use of the uh, CUDA cores of the uh, NVIDIA graphics card to help like drive things in uh, After Effects. So if you have the uh, uh, NVIDIA GPU, you'll be able to change this ray tracing from CPU to GPU and then you'll be able to uh, probably render a bit faster and everything like that. I have uh, Radeon now. I had this before CS6 came out so I, I'm sticking with that until I decide to buy a new one or this one dies or I get enough money randomly somehow to buy a new one but I want to buy a house first so I'm gonna get that first. So I'm gonna hit OK and just stick with these uh, 1 8 here on my adaptive res resolution. Now it's going to render because I didn't let it render before. And uh, there we go. So there is one more down here under render options. Now this helps you out with your uh, ray tracing quality and how it's going to do it. You can read this uh, section here which I encourage you to do. I'm not going to read it for you because basically what it says is that the higher you set up your ray tracing quality the more noise it's going to uh, take out but the longer it's going to pretty much uh, take to, it's going to take a longer time to compute and render every time so you want to set this down to the lowest possible uh, quality that seems acceptable to you now it's not going to increase like the sharpness or anything like that so don't try to increase it and expect that the edges are going to be nicer or anything like that it's just going to affect the noise this drop down box here has a few different uh, sections here we got none box tent and cubic and uh, these are the anti-aliasing filters and with ray tracing um, rays are fired into the pixels to produce um, a render image and it shows off the texture and everything like that so you've got these different types of methods here where the uh, the result kinda is will look a little uh, better in quality and these go from be, uh, worse or from better quality or no from worse quality to better quality there so the anti-aliasing filters um, control the amount of blurriness um, none here it'll give the sharpest result but the the uh, edges may be uh, more aliased which means they're a little more uh, jaggedy and stuff but um, the other ones give these ones here they give blurrier results but the edges aren't going to be all aliased for you so uh, hopefully that made sense and I explained it a little bit I'm gonna hit OK and I just wanted to let you know that this menu here is new in CS6 if you look at it in CS5 there's gonna be different menus so if you if you remember or if you have CS5 now there used to be a section that was off wireframe adaptive resolution which had a dash that said OpenGL off OpenGL interactive and OpenGL always on so most people didn't like OpenGL at all in After Effects so this that's kinda why they got rid of it in here they would always put it on adaptive resolution so if you have CS5, keep yours on adaptive resolution for the most po for the most part. You don't really want to use the OpenGL. That's going to be it for this tutorial. I just went over the different types of 
previews and what they meant and then the options here I went over those in uh, basic so hopefully you guys uh, figured out what I was talking about and it wasn't too confusing thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it a thumbs down if you thought it was horrible and uh, just I look forward to seeing you guys in uh, the next tutorial uh, see you guys later